who are you? That's a question that frequently pops into our minds, and for those of us who are members of the church, it pops into our minds before, during, and after worship, and at other gatherings of God's people. Of course, who you are is more than your name, but your name is a very good starting point. Once I know your name, I begin to associate other aspects of your identity with it. What you look like, what you do, where you live, to whom you're related, and many other characteristics that make you, you. The unique, one-of-a-kind, never-before, never-again you. And then when I hear your name, I recall lots of information about you and my relationship with you. Names are little bridges we cross over in relationships one with another. The prophet Isaiah recorded God's word to God's very specific chosen people. Do not be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine, said the Lord. Expectant parents take pains to select the names of their children. Before we're born, we have a name. And throughout our lives, those names will be recognized and recorded by others. At our baptism, our name is called, signifying that God knows us intimately. In fact, the liturgy used to direct the priest to say to the parents and sponsors, Name this child. As we mature, we learn that having our name attached to something can be very good or very bad. Newscasters are careful to refer to the people they interview or refer to by name. When we say we know our neighbors, we mean that, among other things, we know their names. When we send a letter or a sympathy card or a thank you note, we address the recipient by name. Names are important. So in order to foster community and to build relationships at St. Martin in the Fields Episcopal Church, we need to take care to learn one another's names. This is important at all times, but it will be especially important when you welcome newcomers and when your new rector arrives. To that end, I'm asking that we always wear name tags when we're together at the church, whether for worship or study, fellowship or service. Many folks at St. Martin's already have one of our neat permanent magnetic name tags like this one. If you have a permanent name tag and you can remember to wear it, that's great. If you don't have a permanent name tag, you can order one by contacting the parish office or order online using the QR code at the end of this message. Now, if you're like me, those permanent name tags are sometimes in the jacket I didn't wear to church. So we're going to provide plain paper name tags and bold Sharpie pins at the entrance to each gathering place. So you will always be able to have a name tag. These will also be useful for newcomers and will enhance our ongoing practice of radical hospitality. Who are you? Well, if you'll wear a name tag, it won't be long before I know to the answer to that question. And so will others. I'll see you in church.